Alright. Welcome, everybody. Uh, well, let's see. Today, I actually wanted to show off my base on the private Valheim server that I've been running for a while now. Currently, we're actually getting ready to take on the Queen, the Miss Land's boss. And before we did that, I thought it would be a good idea to show off what I've done with my base so far. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Sorry about bumping the microphone earlier. Uh, let's see. I've got a tree line that borders my entire compound. As you can see here, I've got a little path dug out to, you know, walk everywhere around it. Right here, we've got a mailing system, just in case other players want to drop items off for me, they can. Got a little sign over here off to the right to show that. Other players can actually open up this door. It is outside of my ring of influence, so they just come up here and drop off any items that they have, just like that. And if they wanted to visit my compound, they actually can do so from right here to access the border wall and visit. Now I'm kind of showing parts of my base off right now without meaning to, but <laughs> bear with me. I'll show it all. Don't worry, guys. We'll just finish up the perimeter first and you can kind of see what I've got going on here. Now, out of experience, and I've seen other players do this, they were just hopping over my wall, not realizing how short that platform is, and immediately realizing the massive drop-off that happens as soon as they jump over. So, I put palisades up, so they can't actually jump over anymore. They'll actually have to use the mailbox entrance or my front gate or the teleporter that's inside my compound, located at the portal house. Alright, we've made it full circle. Now, time to show you the inside. As soon as you walk in, you'll notice that I've got a set of stairs, a house, and a building. The stairs will take you up to the border wall access. Got the uh, ballista right here. Currently it's targeting trolls because those are big and they do a lot of damage to gates. So, yeah. Come back down here. You'll see that I've got my house. It's more like a living room at this point. Got my oven right here. Cook bread and chicken and all that fun stuff. Nice little lox pie, if I'm not mistaken, right on the window seal. We come in here and take an immediate left or right, because my... <laughs> My hearth fire will actually block the entrance. But yeah, here's my house. I've actually put a lot of effort into this, more than I wanted to, because, I mean, it's not my world, it's a server. So when this goes, I will be very sad. But we can at least revel in my accomplishments. Revel? Is that right? Probably not. Either way, I'm going to greatly miss this place, eventually. Come back here on the back wall and you can see I've got everything that I could possibly need just stored right up here on the shelves. Got my trophies, my stone and lumber, leathers and seeds. The whole middle row is just food items. Got the food materials, cooked red and yellow foods for health and energy, and then the gray foods at top up at the top, which are like a split between the health and stamina. I've got my medals, I've got the random box of overflow, and miscellaneous up at the top on the far right hand side. Let's 
Let's see. So, because we don't have journals or books in this game, I've been using these wooden signs to help remember ingredients that I would primarily want to keep track of. So instead of having a chest full of random food, I can try to hunt down these specific ingredients and fill up... Oh, excuse me. Fill up my chest and have a stock of good food available. I just think it's easy to keep track this way. Let's see, I've got my fermenter, kitchen table, cauldron, and the cauldron actually is only accessible when you sit in this chair. I've designed it that way specifically to do that. Otherwise, I'll be interacting with the... Um, wooden cooking frames. Now, this is kind of cool. I actually didn't think of this one. Um, one of the people I'm playing with on this server has actually showed me this one. I have these chests inside these little cubby holes hidden behind the um, wooden shutters. I thought that was a great way to save on space. Now, I mean, I could have just as easily dug underneath and placed chests there, but no. Uh, this is my bed, top side. We'll actually go ahead and go into first person. Uh, it is a mod that I'm using to go into first person. I really hope the developers decide to put this in the game by default, but unlikely. So, we'll go into first person, pass the night, and you can see, and I'll show you, rather, why I've decided to put my bed up on a shelf of sorts. Because when I wake up in the morning, and I don't move, you can see I'm just moving the camera, my character will automatically fall to the floor. Brilliant. I think it's great. You have no idea how many times it took me to try to figure out the positioning on the bed just so I can do that. Oops, let's see. Which button was it? There we go. So this is my house. I kind of spent a good, now, good amount of time in here already, but there's still more to show. I've got a custom bench that I've made. It's just the normal wooden bench with logs and custom place bits of wood. Uh, if you stand right here in the middle and angle it just right, you can actually sit down in the middle. So you can actually access each and every um, seat if you wanted to. Go into first person because this is just fun to look at. <laughs> I actually have uh, three lights, three, four light sources um, in my house. The one, you see the Gerlonian Mushroom. The second one is the flaming skull that you see in front. The fourth is obviously the hearth fire. And the fifth is way up there at the top. You can barely see it. But that is the um, mining circlet light item. I've actually got it placed on an item stand facing downwards. So you can actually have light in my base if the campfire does go out. Super tiny little blue light up there. You may or may not be able to see it. Anyways, this is my living room, essentially. And I've got a little personal chest right here for um, a pocket portal, essentially. So anytime I'm out and around exploring, I can use this portal in front of me to return home. So long as I have these items here in my inventory. All right, that's the living room. Let's see, I'll show you. You know what? Let's go this way. It'd be a little easier for me. So as soon as you step through my front gates and hang an immediate right-hand turn, you can see I have a garden, a archery wall access, and a little alleyway right in between the two. This will actually lead directly to the portal hub. This is my small little portal house to get to the portal hub, which is actually a part of um, another player's base. 
they actually have a massive portal house that we, we use as a hub to get everywhere. I would love to show you that, but that's not part of my base. Now if we come over here, outside of the portal hub area, portal house, sorry, uh, we can visit my garden. And I've got two raspberry bushes here that were actually here placed when I started the game. I actually have two um, red mushrooms that will spawn around here somewhere too, but I've already harvested my farm. Come back here a little bit further, you'll see my other farm that actually leads to the um, mail house room that's right here that we can actually access if we go up through here. Uh, this is my entrance for when I need to check my mail. I'll come through here and check my boxes. Mainly because this door is locked behind my ring of influence. Nobody else can access that door except for me. Originally, with this access, I meant to add more archery places to post up here on this wall. But I've since opted out of that with the Palisades. So now it's just here to just be here and defend. Don't think I'll do anything else with these border walls. But that's alright. If we come back down here, you can see that I've got the refiner. Once you get to the Mistlands, you'll start be you'll, you will begin to start using this. Words, they're so hard for me right now. Um, this entire place is made from stone and iron. The reason being, when you use the refinery, uh, it will spark and shoot magic missiles of a, of some kind which will actually destroy your base if, if it's not protected so the iron bars won't take damage from those sparks that's why I've got it encaged yeah it's it's lovely <laughs> if we come back here you can actually see my third and final farm that's in my base right here I do all my carrots and onions and whatnot back here. Um, chest for materials. See? Turnips, carrots, onions. And I've got a sign. Um, this sign is actually a note to help me remember what I'm doing with the farm. If I need to harvest them or if I need to replant them, I'll have that information right here below the chest. If we continue further down the way, you can see that I've got a staircase leading up to the second part of my living room, but we'll get to that later, don't worry. And in that staircase, we actually have a wood storage supply for fine wood right here. It's more cosmetic than actually use, but if I do need to use it, I'll, I'll have a spot that I know where I can get it. If we come out further, you can see I've got more crafting stations underneath the staircase. These are just mainly here to be here. I mean, they still have use, don't get me wrong, but if I need the stone cutter, I can easily destroy it, replace it somewhere at my base, and continue on my business. As well as the artisan's table, although the only use I have for it right now is building the ballistas, which I actually need to build more of. At least three more of those. Before we get into the crafting hall, um, I'll show you my mage's tower. It's nothing super fancy, but it does have three floors to it. A uh, basement, main floor, and a top floor. I actually think I did pretty well on this one. I've I think I've actually kind of outdone myself on this map. Unfortunately, I'll never be able to keep it unless I ask the server administrator for the world save, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go to the basement in the Mage's Tower, and this is actually where I do all of my magic. Got the Galder table right here. 
I've got the runestone upgrade right behind it. I've yet to get the candles made. Don't worry, guys, I'm working on it. I've got my... Oh, I actually need to repair. My black forge right here. Some black chests for materials that I'll usually find here in the Mistlands. We'll go there. I've got a portal to my magic farm, which will take me to the farm I have in the Mistlands. I've also got another farm right here. This will take me to the plains so I can grow my wheat primarily so I can feed my chickens. Up top I've got another chest that'll work as further storage. And I think that would be about it for the basement down here. Um, if you do have the multiverse mod installed you'll probably see it scroll on the scroll on screen in the yellow text at the bottom um, the multiverse mod will let me place this portal and log into a server or my local world without actually having to go to the main menu if you want to learn more about that one it'll be in the description just go to nexus mods you can find out all the information there not even Nexus mods. Um, the Thunder Store mod manager, the Overwolf app extension plugin mod manager thingy. I forget. If we go up to the top floor, this is actually where I keep my Chimkins farm. See them little Chimkins? They're just so fluffy. Yep, chicken farm come back over here you can see that I've got storage for the food and storage for the chicken eggs so I can make some omelets I won't spend too much time here it looks like the fire is out for that one so I'll be doing that later and that is my mage's tower super simple super compact I like it and then I've got my covered storage for all my lumber and stone and if we continue this way into the crafting hall or outside crafting yard I have this little hut that will work for spinning thread right oh linen thread there you go the little flax machine, I believe is what it is. And we've got our windmill right here, so I can cook bread, because that's deliciousness. Got the advanced furnace, my regular furnace, the obliterator, the kiln, kiln to make coal. I've got a little wisp well. And right next to all that, I've got my forge and barber, and my mining cart return area. If we actually step into the forge and barber uh, hut, you can see that I've got all of the upgrades for the forge. And if I wanted to, I can also change my haircut. Because what better place to have a, a barber shop than the blacksmithing area where all the clippers are at, right? Right. <laughs> Oh, uh, goodness. Feels like I'm going super fast on this. Alright. Before we forget, you'll... Let's go and take a look at the boar farm that I have. Due to a recent bat attack, uh, I had to resupply. So I have regular boar. No longer a full stock of one star. They're actually in the middle of being tamed. You can see that they're still frantically running about so let's leave them alone and I believe I've shown you all of the ground level areas so let's go to the second floor of my living room where the meat of this is at I guess so if we come up these stairs like I just showed you and go down this hallway and take an immediate left hand turn I actually have a roof access right here Just in case. 
because why not, right? Get a nice little overview so far. Now, I don't know if I actually made note of this or not, but you can kind of see in my garden, I've got these stone walls, the little one-by-ones, kind of sunk into the ground. We don't really have um, stone paths that we can make outside of just painting the ground like you see here on this stone road here. So I decided to take the little one-by-one -one stone blocks and make the stone walk path myself in my garden. That's that's a recent addition to the base. I'm, I'm actually kind of proud of myself on that one. But before we get too distracted again, um, go up the stairs, down the hallway, immediate left, you get roof access, but if you continue further down the hallway, you can actually see that I've got a live or not living room, but um, a dining room right here. Um, I would toggle the heads up off, uh, toggle the heads up display back on rather to show that this is a 17 level comfort, but it kind of ruins the video a little bit, <laughs> but just to prove it, I'll show it to you anyways. Comfort level 17 right there at the top. Yeah. Might as well get that rested bonus while we're here, right? Not that I really need it, but there we go. And if we turn back around behind the throne in the living or er, dining room area, you can see that I've got a bit of a patio. Kind of like a, a guard's post, if you will. To kind of greet everybody that shows up or to help take down any enemies that might be bothering the front gates. Again, you just saw me zoom in with my bow. Um, that is a bow zoom mod. Uh, that should be in the heads up display in the video. That little, those yellow text down at the bottom. Don't worry, I'll also have a full list in the description of the mods that I use right now. And if I'm not mistaken, that should be my entire base. I suppose I could show you the farms that I have. They're not really anything fantastic, believe you me. Uh, we'll start with the Plains farm, where I get all my wheat. See? It's nothing fancy, it's just kind of here. Let's go ahead and hide the heads-up display, we don't need that anymore. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little. I actually repurposed a goblin camp for this base, so... Oh no, I forgot to refill that wall in. Oh well. Like I said, it's not fancy in the slightest. But that's really not the point. It just needs to be here and, defend and defendable. I will have to fill in that gap, though, eventually. And we head on over to the other portal right next to it, and I can show you the magic farm that I have built so far. It's not as fancy, but because it does have this fancy portal house right here, it's actually way more fancy than my other farm. If we walk out these doors, you can see that we're in the Mistlands now. 
I uh, do have to be careful because a Gajal likes to spawn over there. If you're more familiar with Morrowind, they look like the Netch. And if we come up this path, we can actually see that my magic farm is right here. The amount of blue light in this area alone. Jesus. That sounded like a seeker. Yep, it is time to go. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not going to fight that. I am not prepared. So I will portal back home and pretend like it never happened. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to show the portal hub, and I'm still pretty hesitant to do so, but just to get a complete video, I suppose, I'll go through. So here is the portal hub, once we portal through my portal house. I wonder how many times I can say portal before it starts to become a stale word that I no longer recognize. It's got three floors. Uh, you may or may not have seen this design elsewhere. Um, it is not an original design from anybody here on the server. Uh, you got first floor, second floor, and then way at the top, you've got a third floor. And just like the name suggests, it's just a house that holds all of our portals. Uh, the second floor, we've got the boss portals kind of laid out got Ikthir the Elder Bone Mass Modor Yaglith Yaglith I think is how it's pronounced and then the Queen right here and if we continue further over here, you'll actually see the shop portal. But again, this isn't part of my base, so I'm just going to be a quick in and out, kind of give you a tease of it. I'd make note of the portal mod that I have installed, but because I'm actually traveling long distances, it still hits me with a loading screen. I actually need to move that chair over. That's not supposed to be out that far. Whatever. But yeah. This is my compound. It's um, it's all within the space limit of one workbench. You know, these little guys right here. So, if you want you can make a base as small or as big as this I guess depending on your preference but I think this is probably the smallest base that you could actually use and get from your very first steps all the way to like uh, I guess the queen which I guess would be close to end game content but yeah I hope you guys like it. I definitely had a blast making this place. And I hope to see you guys next time when we take on the queen. Alright. Till next time, everybody. I'll see you later.